All right, well, this time of year, the message is pretty simple. You win, you move on, you lose, your season's over. Week two of high school football playoffs, the stakes are as high as ever. And if this matchup between Warner Robins and Ware County sounds familiar, well, it should. Yeah, it was this very Ware County team that beat Warner Robins a year ago in the 5A state championship game in Atlanta. The Gators won it 38-13. And in talking with Warner Robins head coach Shane Sams earlier today, well, he admitted to me, yeah, there's a bit of a rivalry between these two teams now. Shane Sams having coached and played now against Ware County when he was a demon. But fast forward to 2023 and this demon's team is different. Quarterback Judd Anderson arriving midseason from Jones County. He has made a difference and he has got some weapons to work with. Georgia Tech commit Isaiah Canyon, a huge asset at wideout, and the list goes on. You got to talk about Cam Flowers, Ja Aviles, and Chase Reese, who converted from quarterback to receiver this year and has not missed a beat. And that's just the selflessness that Coach Sams told me has made this team better. Coach telling me today that the buy in is there. These guys are willing to do whatever it takes to win and in his words quote it's a dream to coach this team the demons region champs at eight and three on the season but if you know anything about warner robbins football the expectations are much higher than just a win in the second round of the playoffs coach sham's telling me the day he started he, he, the job here that that was the expectation state championship or bust remains the expectation tonight still ahead in the six o'clock hour we will have much more on the demons here at mcconnell talbert stadium plus a look around central georgia week two of playoffs you're not going to miss any of it live in warner robbins connor 13 WMAZ Sports.